Hey busy bees, it's Zung and we made it to day 10 of our 30 days of healthy eating and living. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this series because it's been really fun cooking with you every single day. Today is Soup Tuesday and I told you guys yesterday that we would be making a chicken noodle soup to soothe the soul. Everyone around me is getting sick and so I thought why not make this to make them feel better. If you guys are feeling under the weather, this is the perfect soup for you. I added a little citrus twist to it with a lot of herbs and so it kind of amps up your regular chicken noodle soup. If you guys are excited to follow along on the next 20 days, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So many of you guys have also asked me to continue this series but I'm really enjoying it so who knows. Comment below and let me know if you want to see me do daily uploads. What a challenge. Anyways, we'll get right on into our chicken soup. First, I have my stock pot. This is a pink Le Creuset. I think it's three, it's also 3.5 quarts and it's the perfect size to cook soup in. I'll put a link in the description box below. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Then I'll add one pound of chicken thighs that I've already cut up. I'm using chicken thigh here because I just like how chicken thighs kind of breaks down in a soup. It's a lot more tender than chicken breast, but if you prefer to use chicken breast, it's totally up to you. Just make sure you cut it into one inch chunks. I'll add it to my pot, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and then just cook it up until it's kind of golden brown. I'm cooking the chicken first and kind of searing it so that once you deglaze the pot and add everything in, it'll add a lot more flavor rather than just throwing the chicken in and boiling it with the stock. So I cooked the chicken for about five minutes and it's not thoroughly cooked yet because we're gonna finish it off in the soup later. I've scooped it out into a bowl and I'll just set it aside while we work on our veggies. In the pot, I'll add one cup of diced onions, saute it for about two minutes, and then I'll add two stalks of celery that I've already chopped up, two carrots that I've also chopped up, one clove of garlic, half a teaspoon of thyme, and just saute everything together for about three minutes until the carrots and the celery has softened up as well. Okay, so the veggies look cooked, and if you notice, I've already started deglazing the pan with the veggies. But now we're gonna add one cup of chicken stock and just continue scraping the bottom so it finishes getting all that flavor at the bottom. cooking the vegetables, make sure to cook it on about medium low heat so that you don't burn the bottom, the frond. All right, sweet. The stock kind of darkened up because we deglazed all the flavor. So now I'm gonna add five more cups of chicken stock and then we're gonna finish it up. I'll bring the broth up to a boil and then I'm going to add back the chicken. Careful not to let it splatter all over you. And then for the noodle part of your pasta, today I have one and a half cups of bow tie pasta, but you could totally use whichever kind of pasta you'd like. Fusilli, penne, even spaghetti would work. Although with spaghetti, I would cut it up. And then for the seasonings, I'll add one sprig of rosemary, one tablespoon of fresh dill, and the juice from half a lemon. Give it a stir. And then I'll turn it down to medium heat, cover it, and let it simmer for about 12 minutes until the noodles are perfectly al dente. 
A few notes that I forgot to mention earlier. If you guys don't have dill or don't want to use dill, you can totally leave it out. I like to add it because it adds a little bit of herby freshness to it and then the lemon juice just pairs so well with it. If you notice, I also haven't added any extra salt to this because the chicken stock already has salt and the lemon also gives it extra flavor. So once we're done cooking the pasta, I'm gonna give it a final taste test and then we'll season it again. I don't know about you guys, but it's been raining and cloudy. The weather keeps changing from sunny to cloudy. So I think with this gloomy weather, the soup will be perfect. Our chicken soup smelled so good and soothing to the soul. Um, the pasta is perfectly cooked. When you jiggle it, it kind of has a movement. Of course, you can just touch it or taste it to see if it's done. Mm. Go ahead and turn off the heat and I'll just give it a quick taste. Ah, you get that freshness from the lemon, and to me, I think it's perfectly seasoned, but if you want to add a little bit more salt and pepper to it, you totally can. <sighs> All right, now let's serve it into a bowl. I'm gonna try it again with the veggies and the chicken. Mm. Honestly, you don't even need to be sick to enjoy this soup. Even on a, just a cold winter day, this would be so cozy and comforting. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, I just love doctoring up my basic chicken noodle soup. Like this one, I added lemon and herbs, and sometimes I like adding tomatoes, black beans, and other seasonings to make it into something totally different. But the basic chicken noodle soup is so easy. Have you guys made your own before? And what kind of soup do you like to eat when you're sick? I hope you guys enjoyed Soup Tuesday. Next week, I have a fun one, a Vietnamese one. It's called Bung Ryu that I really want to share with you guys. Um, let me know if you've ever had that before and if you're interested in seeing that or if you would rather see like, hmm, split pea soup or something else. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.